Oh my goodness! Holy <laughs> Salt and vinegar crickets. Oh good. I'll watch Hello Okanagan at the downtown Kelowna Marina. Welcome back to another episode of Hello Okanagan. Peter, where are we? <laughs> We're at the Okanagan Science Center. We're gonna have so much fun talking about sound, checking out cool lizards, iguanas. I think there's a dinosaur here too. Check out this episode. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Hello Okanagan. We're real pumped about this one. We feel like kids again. David, you used to take Science Center trips when you were a kid? Yeah, with uh, with school back in the day, we came here lots. Yeah, yeah. same with me, man. So we want to introduce Dion from the Okanagan Science Center. Thank you for inviting us here. Yeah, thanks the, for coming. The coolest part is the place is shut down just for the Hello Okanagan crew, so we get first dibs at some of these fun things. Let me know, when did this first open up? So we're 31 years old now. So we've been here for 31 years in Vernon and we started by a group of very dedicated volunteers who did this, they started at the basement of the Tokol building. And then we ended up moving here and yeah, it's been 31 years now. Wow. And how has it expanded over the years? What kind of things do you guys offer here and what kind of things have you offered in the past as well? Yeah, absolutely. So we bring in traveling exhibits every year. So we bring in different exhibits to just kind of feature different scientific things. Last year we had the human body. This year we're talking about sound and ears and all kinds of fun stuff there. Of course we do our school programming, our camps, birthday parties when we're allowed to have birthday parties and just lots of fun, lots of science-based fun here. Sweet. Well, yeah. Peter. Let's talk more actions. Let's go check it out. I'm excited. I'm you can't it. talk about science. Let's you have to do, do it. Science. Do science. Let's go. Okay, you ready? What do you mean? You're gonna go we're already doing it. You're gonna go upside down, yeah. sideways, everything. Oh my goodness! Holy! <laughs> this is what it feels like inside a rocket ship. Good lord! It feels like. Dave, does it feel like there's no gravity right now? Oh. Drop my crickets. <laughs> What's the safe word? Pineapples. Pineapple's a safe word. I'm not joking, Dave. Okay. <laughs> Pineapple is the safe. Hey, you ready? That was pretty cool. Adam, what exactly what is this supposed to mimic, though? So when you're like, out what part space? of space is it? Like when you're when you're like in the zero gravity experience, or is it like if your rocket starts to spin around, or what? So it's when your rocket starts to spin around, or like they used it for training. So when you watch some of the videos and they go outside of the space station, they have to be able to control themselves, right? Right. Because they'll automatically start spinning. spinning. Have you ever seen? And so how are you supposed to use your tools and all that kind of thing, right? right? It's no. about the NASA program, how it first started, like okay. the Mercury program and everything and the stuff that they had to put these guys, they had to create things, like they don't know what it's like up there. So they had to create like morbid machines like this to try to get people to experience everything they can that's not from Earth. Wow, this is a whole new massive room. What's in here? So this is a traveling exhibit called Sound Only Sound. It's visiting here from the Sherbrooke Museum and it'll be here till the end of March. So this is one of our uh, galleries that we change out on a regular Sherbrooke basis. Sherbrooke, Quebec? Back. Sherbrooke, Quebec, wow. yes. Yeah, so you'll see everything so, is bilingual here. Okay, um, oh, and yes. it's a, They do a fantastic job with their exhibits. So this is really hands-on, a lot of stations about learning about sound. David. He's got a confuser phone on his head. So he's got to determine where the sound is coming from. So somebody's supposed to like make noise and you're supposed to like... Yeah, determine where it's coming from. Gotcha, yeah. okay. I'll go like over here. Okay. And then Peter will hide somewhere and he'll tap. He'll, you he'll, have to find me. He'll tap and I, I have to you. find okay. Peter. Hey, 
This is super confusing. You found me! <laughs> did you stay there the whole time or did you move? No, I was here. What, really? Yeah. That is, that is super confusing. Yeah. It's got some sort of vacuum thing on there. And then you can't hear it anymore because it doesn't travel in space anymore. Okay, and now it's the vacuuming and you can hear the sound again. Look at that. I'm a scientist. I think you have to guess what's in it. Oh! I, it I thought something was going to pop out yeah, in it. Okay. A Dyson vacuum that's broken? Huh? It's a fly! <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> it's a joke. How was this one? That could be a vacuum. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you just stick your head right in the hole. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what are we doing? You're gonna talk. You're gonna say something. It's like it's just a Barely, can you hear me? Yeah, you sound muffled, but my voice is echoing like crazy. Because yours isn't insulated. <laughs> <laughs> David, what are you about to eat? Salt and vinegar crickets. Crickets. They look exactly like you would expect them to, insects. Oh god, here we go. It's nothing. It's just a peanut. Just a peanut. Mmm. I don't know, it tastes like salt and vinegar. <laughs> Dude, if we open it, we have to eat the whole thing. You realize that, right? You gotta see this. Just knowing what I'm chewing. One of the legs is stuck in my throat. <coughs> Bone apple tea. I just, I just hit its eyeballs, I think, or something. Oh. Eat them all. Oh, good. Lots of water. Lots of water. Bearded dragon. I think his name is Bert. Is it Bert? It is Bert. Where's Ernie? Was he supposed to change color or something? Or? Those are comedians. He, he does change color in the sense that when he's irritated, his beard is black, so you can kind of see he's got a bit of black. So he's, so he's irritated. irritated. Right? He's a little upset. Don't yell As soon as she said he's irritated when he's black, I'm like, oh crap, it's black. He's gonna bite me or poo on me or something. Yeah. Red ear slider, so you can see kind of the red band by his by his ear, by his eyes, sorry. So they are not native to the Okanagan, so this one would be an invasive species to our painted turtles. And he actually, so he was brought to us as a rescue, and uh, he had a very poor diet as a baby. You can see his shell has kind of been, it's upturned. Yeah. Because he ate way too much protein as a baby, he didn't get enough vegetables. So he Interesting. Which ninja turtle is he? He is Leonardo. And what is his weapons, David, since he knows us all? Katanas. Katanas. Imagine if that was your job, just do that all day. This is like playing Operation. Does it electrocute you when you touch it? <laughs> it's <like> crazy. <laughs> Number one, engage. Are you just hitting buttons like you do in an elevator right now? No, you gotta match it. First stage, second stage, third phase. Aye, Captain! 
I can't hold it much longer. Hey everyone, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And smash the like button, make sure you leave some comments, it really helps us out a lot. Dion, what's going on in here? So this is actually real science happening at the Science Centre. This is a particle monitoring station. It's ran by the BC government, so this is where they determine how many particles are in the air. So when we have wildfires in the summertime and you have all the smoke and you, you kind of see what the ratings are, this is where they're collecting the data from. So everything is right here in the building. Hey everyone, did you like what you saw here? If you want a one year membership for your family, we're giving away a pass. David, how do they win this? Well guys, all you gotta do is make sure you're following us on Facebook and Instagram. We're gonna be posting the details on our social media in a few days. So follow us at Hello Okanagan on Facebook and Instagram. Hey everyone, it's time for an Okanagan update. Hello all you amazing Okanagan people, I'm Saffron Quist. And I'm Chelsea Baker filling in for Stacy. And this is your Okanagan update. Annyeonghaseyo! What? It means hello in Korean, Saffron, because my new favorite restaurant is Suda, Korean restaurant, right at the end of Main Street in Vernon, BC. They've got a massive menu and they've got vegan and gluten-free options. My favorite menu item is the noodles with seafood. You can go there for dine-in or takeaway. Vernon Winter Carnival is celebrating their 62nd year from February 4th to 13th. In addition to their brand new winter playground, they're welcoming back the parade, ice sculpture competition, and polar bear swim. Hey, don't forget about their gold rush scavenger hunt, their chili cook-offs, and a to the max 80s party. Envy Apparel has a brand new bar studio. It's located right on Cal Lake Road in the Alpine Center. Check out their Pilates or yoga classes or browse their retail store for winter apparel up to 30% off. And that's it for your Okanagan update. Back to the episode. Hey everyone, hopefully you enjoyed this show. Dion, thank you for inviting us down here. Thank you for coming. Thank Thanks. you for coming to the Science Center today. If people want more information or to find out how they can try this out too, where do they go? Absolutely, go to our website, okscience.ca or our Facebook and Instagram, all of our details are there. Sweet. Check out the description below guys and click this link.